Good morning and thanks for choosing Fox 10 News on this Saturday morning. Today is May 15th. Happy Saturday. I am Gianni Navarro and Matt, I'm no fortune teller, but I can see some <laughs> sunny skies in our future. <laughs> Spring just keeps on holding sure on. Does. Oh, it feels so nice outside. I, I know for some folks you know you're like, oh, come on, we want to warm up a little bit so the pools will warm up and things will start. Don't worry, we'll eventually get there. Let, let's hold on to this while we can. So we've got 50s out there this morning once again. So you can roll the windows down or open the windows up the house, let things air out. Really pleasant here for us this morning. 58 in Mobile, 57 in Fairhope right now. Even down to the beach is getting pretty, just around 60 degrees. That's really comfortable. 50 in Foley, 55 in Lillian. So just very pleasant air. I know for some, like I said, for some folks, you really want to warm up. You want to start getting into all the summertime activities and it's just a little too cool for a lot of that right now. But like I said, we'll get there eventually. Not today though. Today's looking good. Pretty much clear on the satellite. We have a, a system well to the north of us. High pressure in place across the southeast. So we're doing good. We're going to and we're going to stay good here throughout the week and nothing close enough to ha have any impact on us. So that's going to lead to Look at this. Just a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine. Really gorgeous conditions. We will warm up from these 50s this morning. Should hit around 80 this afternoon, so it will be warmer here for you later on today. So let's talk about the weather headlines. First off, Lots of sun here for today. Pretty basic headline there. Tomorrow it'll be another cool one back down in the 50s in many spots to start off our Sunday. Looking ahead as we head into next week, some scattered showers will return to the forecast. I'll break all this down for you coming up in just a few minutes. Matt, thank you. Well, breaking news overnight out of Mobile. Police are investigating a homicide on Brill Road. Police say they responded to a report of one shot fired, and they say upon arrival, an officer found a man with apparent gunshot wounds. Unfortunately, officials say the victim was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, police are asking if anyone has any information to call the Mobile Police Department. And Mobile Police are also hoping you can help them track down the suspect in a deadly homicide investigation. Police say 26 year old Jerry Pritchett was shot to death on Baltimore Street Thursday night. If you have any information that could help, please give MPD a call. And state troopers investigating a deadly crash on Highway 193 near Alabama Port. Now, investigators say it happened late yesterday afternoon. Officials say one person was killed after their car ran off the road and hit a tree. This is a developing story, and we will update you when we know more. And new details into the death investigation of a Montgomery baby whose body was found earlier this week. Now, investigators say the baby died from blunt force trauma to the head. The arrest affidavit also indicates the murder happened sometime between 3.45 p.m. and 10.49 p.m. on Monday. According to law enforcement, the baby's father, Wissan Sr., called police from a convenience store around 10.50 p.m. to report his son missing. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says the newborn's body was found in a rural part of Lowndes County. Court records also indicated he had been buried. Other details surrounding the baby's death were not available. And Wissan was taken into custody shortly after a news conference where he and the baby's mother, Angela Gardner, pleaded with the public to help find their son. The charges against him, initially reckless manslaughter, has been upgraded to capital murder. And an elderly woman recovering after being knocked unconscious by a man with a wooden club. Deputies say Michael Kochal hit her over the head Thursday at a Circle K in Pensacola. Yesterday, investigators say Kochal was spotted riding his bike near the scene. Officials say he tried to run but couldn't escape one of their canines. Kochal is charged with attempted murder. Now, deputies say they will release surveillance video of the attack soon. And new developments about that big fight at a Bayou La Battery boat launch. Fox 10 News confirming the Mobile County District Attorney's Office is now reviewing the case. Now, we obtained this cell video off the fight from a woman who says one of her family members was beaten and held underwater during the incident. The woman telling us about a dozen people attacked another group of people. The lead investigator on the case telling us charges will be coming. The DA's office says it's reviewing the case 
case as it stands now. And we're told a discussion on charges could come early next week. We do know at least one name connected to this investigation, but we are not identifying that person because no charges have been filed just yet. And one half of the mother son duo accused in a knife and machete attack surrendering to Daphne police. Daphne police say 36 year old Tamika Williams and her son held a man against his will and attacked him with a butcher knife and machete when he tried to escape last Saturday. Police say she turned herself in yesterday and is now on a $6,000 bond. Investigators now focusing their efforts on locating her son, Jalen Williams. This surveillance video shows the victim making his way to a nearby restaurant after managing to get away from the attack. Now, the victim was flown to University Hospital for treatment of his injuries, which are said to be non-life threatening. Daphne police give an update on the victim's condition. Yeah, he is actually doing a lot better. He's up and moving around. He is um, out of the hospital. Well, the victim is, is aware of the, the situation. He knows to uh, keep stay aware of his surroundings as best he can. Now we're told both suspects will face charges of assault and unlawful imprisonment. Again, if you know the whereabouts of Jalen Williams, give Daphne police a call. And the rapper Honeycomb Brazy indicted on new charges. The indictment filed this week in Mobile County Circuit Court charges the rapper, whose real name is Nashawn Jones, with first degree possession of marijuana and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Now, the indictment alleges the offense occurred in December of 2019, and that's different from the charges Jones faces of violating the terms of his probation. He's due to answer those charges next month. Now, police say a dispute between Jones and someone else led to an attack that resulted in the deaths of the rapper's grandparents, Tony and Leela Lewis, back in March. And a judge reversing his decision to release a man he found not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. That's after prosecutors say Tyler Revel was taken to the emergency room yesterday. They say under the influence of meth. Now, earlier this month, the judge had ruled that Revel could be released to his home. That decision facing criticism, not just by prosecutors, but residents of two homes he allegedly broke into back in 2019. Now, Revel will be jailed until a spot opens up at the Taylor Hardin secu uh, secure facility in Tuscaloosa. Well, the U.S. reaching a new milestone this week as the CDC updates its mask man uh, guidance, I should say. But now it could create headaches for small business owners trying to enforce their own policies. President Biden announcing new guidelines from the CDC Thursday that face coverings are no longer needed in most settings. While the new guidance is great news for most Americans, it could cause confusion for small businesses, many of whom say they still feel conflicted on whether to require customers to wear a mask. It's just for the safety of all of our members. I really believe that if we all of a sudden didn't do that, I think, you know, that would hurt us more than help us. Every business owner has the uh, the right to make the decision that that works best for their that for the comfort level of their of their workers and their guests coming into it. Now, the big hurdle is getting those vaccinated who are still hesitant. According to the CDC, 36% of all Americans have been fully vaccinated. And new research from CDC adds to the evidence that Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna vaccines are highly effective at preventing COVID-19. Researchers looked at data from 500,000 healthcare professionals from 25 states in the U.S. comparing the vaccination status of people who tested positive with COVID-19 with those who tested negative for it. They found the vaccines made by Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna reduced the risk of getting sick with COVID-19 by 94% percent among fully vaccinated individuals. Now, the findings also support the CDC's recommendation that everyone should get both doses of the vaccines in order to get the most protection. And the Mobile County Health Department has another opportunity to get vaccinated today. There is one happening this morning from 8 to 11 at Nova Espresso on St. Anthony Street, and that's for the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. And Franklin Primary Health is partnering with the Maysville community to host a drive through vaccine clinic. That's today at 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at Revelation Missionary Baptist Church on Taylor Lane, and that's in Mobile. Uh, you don't need to 
make an appointment, and this is for the Moderna vaccine, which is available to those 18 and older.